you were talking about scale and some of the economics with the cloud and, and um, you know we mentioned earlier the compare my rate feature right. which you know it's an innovation and it was on the consumer side and this you know is applicable to probably anything consumer related where the the, the big question is how much traffic are we going to get um, and I think what what really helped us um, you know being able to leverage the cloud to I mean, A, some of that wouldn't have been possible with right. an on-premise infrastructure, but B, just, you know, to give you some cost ideas, right? We didn't have to go, you know, we didn't have to worry about if, if when you do make the Today Show, do we need 10,000 servers ready to go? Right. Uh, nor did you have to buy 10,000 servers in case there was a slight chance you might be on the Today Show, right? right. Uh, we could easily scale up and down and you kind of pay as, pay as you go. Right. Um, and I think that was, you know, you get the benefit of, you know, building with modern technologies, I think you get the benefit of some of these you know, you, you talked a lot about, I don't have to worry about HVAC or, or power going down or, you know, the, the sort of um, ugly costs of a, of a data center, but, but there's also the, the uh, other costs, which is, you know, the projection of costs and, and, and right. you know, the manageability and making something ultimately that is, um, you know, profitable. Right. Right. I think two things. Number one, uh, I'm still willing to go on the Today Show. I've not been invited yet. <laughs> I'm still just uh, willing to go. Uh, just put that out there. Um, you know, you heard. <laughs> yeah, my mom would love to see me on the Today Show, I'm sure. Yeah, um, together. <laughs> uh, the same thing I would say, it comes back to this notion of enterprise class applications. Um, it wasn't too long ago, you know, four, five, ten years ago, where part of your cost benefit analysis had to be can we afford to make this enterprise class? Do we need to do that? Today, we don't have to worry about that. Just by being in the cloud, I know that I can scale. And I don't need to worry about scaling. Microsoft is monitoring my inbound traffic and they know when another CPU needs to be brought on. They know when servers need to scale. They know when my database needs to grow. I don't, I don't need right. to worry about that, right? So on right. Super Bowl Sunday, <laughs> I can just watch the Super Bowl. Um, and if we ever have an ad on, uh, on, on Super Bowl, I'm not going to worry about um, our servers falling over because I, I, I know that the professionals are watching that. Um, and the systems are watching that and they're expanding and contracting as need be, right? Yeah. And to your point about um, uh, making it profitable, we know that the, um, the revenue will follow that scale up. And so if we have to scale up because more traffic comes into us, that's great. It's a good thing. It's good. Yeah. More loans, it's going to be more profitable. When the, when the bill comes from Microsoft at the end of the month, it's fine because the revenue also is coming. Yeah.